Hey guys, I fly Aviator here, and welcome to Firewatch. Uh, I'm actually really excited about this. Um, this game was, I believe, it was announced at E3 last year, and it has a, I mean, it just has a really good style. There wasn't really much to go on. Uh, I believe you are a, um, if I'm not mistaken, a fire f firefighter or a um, park ranger. But either way, let's jump into this. Start a new game. Got some music playing. Guess we're in a bar. Colorado, 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 1975. You see Julia. I should probably should get closer for this. You see Julia. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. Oh lord, you are drunk. I'm gonna go with this one. <laughs> Uh, you slur the word major and it smells like Coors. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says, and I'm a professor. Cool, you reply. What's yours, she asks. You sniff the air. Toxicology? Was that a burn, you ask? She, sa <laughs> she says deftly. Worried she hurts your feelings, she asks if you want to split the cheeseburger. One week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Aw, that's adorable. Oh, hey, we're in game now. So there's my backpack. I have, oh, I have a body. You know that's a good start when you have a body in a game. So we're gonna pick up the backpack. Thank you. And uh, yeah, here we are. Oh, see, now first off, I'm gonna just make a comment. This game looks amazing. Like, it's a stylized type of game and it's not like s super realistic. To be perfectly honest, I kind of wish more games did this because I feel like we kind of reach a point where too many games are trying to be realistic and they kind of lose that, I don't know, they kind of lose something when they try to go for that super realistic look. I'm not trying to say that all games shouldn't, that all, there shouldn't be any super realistic looking games, but I feel like there's kind of like too much. What in the world is that? Can I read? Can I? Yeah. Ooh, I can zoom in. Brewed in Wyoming. Red something. Well, let's see if this is my truck. Oh. Let's load my gear. There's my backpack. All that space for just one backpack. You date for over one year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia's in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. Okay, I actually own a beagle, so I'm gonna have to go with the beagle. You pick up the beagle and she names him Bucket. Bucket's a good dog, and a week later you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. <laughs> oh gosh. Julia loves him. You love him too. That's why you don't mess with a beagle, you get the beagle. 1979. You talk out on the deck. It's summer. 9.30 p.m. And the heat still radiates off of the high desert. What do you think about kids? She asks. Kids? They're not very smart. They're good at much. 
I'm saying, if you and I have some, a couple little idiots. One day, why rush? Or that would be pretty good. That would be pretty good, you know? In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. You say she's absolutely right. Here we are. Boom, shut that door and... Ah! My goodness, just look at this. Oh, it looks so beautiful. Like, see, it's not super detailed. I mean, like... And this is coming from a guy who's been playing, like, Fallout 4 and been getting, like, the... You know... 2k texture mods and all that I can't run 4k but anyways like to me this just looks great like I like it it's got a good stylized look obviously it's running smoothly today now that is not a good sign we're at an extreme fire danger today I guess it's appropriate this game is called firewatch <laughs> anyways let's actually get this journey started now, out of all the games, obviously, I don't think there's any voice acting in this, so I feel like this is a good game for commentary. And I'm going to keep going with this. So first, we're going to look at this. We're at the Two Forks. Um, just Two Forks. And this is our region overview, so right now we're just looking. There's a bunch of creeks, a bunch of rivers. There's the Lookout. Thunder Canyon. Mule Point. Jonesy Lake. PT Meadow Thoroughfare Basin. So there's a supply drop, and then there's the Barefoot. Either way, it's a nice little area. Pretty big. Do not forget to check in. Very important. No fireworks. Good. Thoroughfare Trail is not recommended for inexperienced hikers. Aha. Uh -huh. And then we're in their country. Learn to live with bears. All right. Well, let's do this. Let's see. It's not marked or anything, so let's go go in. But yeah, I've, um, sorry that I've been away for a while. I'm, uh, going into another part. 1980. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets in between, gets between the sheets. I don't like this. Um, you get mad or you get ignore. I'm gonna ignore. I don't wanna get mad. You don't touch each other. At, you don't touch each other all night. The next day, you feel guilty for being so angry and ask her about her evening. She says it was great. You hold on to a tiny pill of resentment. You make some coffee and go to work. 1981. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man, or you frolic like a Victoria's Secrets model. Okay, we're gonna go with me, because I would totally frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. Very nice. <laughs> oh, this is gorgeous. But yeah, I'm sorry that I've been away, guys. Uh, definitely coming back. Um, and I feel like this is a game that's a good start. Um, probably gonna do 30 minute videos with this if, it's, if it is that long. I don't know. Uh, we'll see how long this game is. Um, but we'll definitely go with this game and we'll, um, I'll keep going with Planet Base and Rocket League and probably find some other games that we can, pl that I can play. Um, so we'll, you know, just go from there. It's going to be, it'll be interesting. So for now we are eight miles away from the fire lookout. I mean, my gosh, just look at this. It is gorgeous. And the music is just beautiful, like, seriously, you could just... I could just be quiet and this could just be a video, just looking up at the nature and at beauty. And you know, this is kind of... To be honest, this is something I would like to do. Go out hiking someday. Just enjoy nature and... You know, I, I mean, I'm a gamer at heart, but you know that... I can still enjoy nature, you know? I can climb over obstructions, apparently. Wah. Yeah, like a man. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night. Yeah. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from far, far away places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Bucket gets kicked. 
Bye bye, bye wait, bye bye, bye. The, the dog tells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she's stressed. You come confront the attacker. I actually really do want to beat his face in for kicking Bucket. Put beat his face in. Your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julie asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay. You don't want to get that way. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. 1984. Plans to have kid get waylaid by work. Julie gets offered a job at Yale. Yale's in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job, associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Now this is tough. I can convince her not to take the job or agree if she commutes back and forth. Now, Connecticut is a very far, it's very, very far away. And I mean, obviously I don't want to stop her, but that's also a big commitment for her to have to travel back and forth from Connecticut. That's a really pricey flight or train ride or any trip really, to be honest. But I don't, I don't want to convince her not to take the job because that's very selfish of me. I'm gonna agree if she commutes. We'll go with that. You'll a you ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She say that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you don't. If you won't move, you tell her not to pass it up if she if that's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. I'm glad I at least did that. It'll be tough, yeah, but I don't want to stop her. 1985. Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She remember, she didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget it. Um, shoot, this is tough. This is real tough, because... Obviously, she, she, needs, to, she needs help. She has, there's something going on, but... Obviously, I would still like to do the gesture. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the, we should talk to someone. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She's 41. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. <sighs> dementia. My uh, grandmother suffered from that before she passed away. So. Anyways, let's uh, pick up the journal. Take a peek. <laughs> I'm gonna have to censor that. Oh my gosh. I didn't even read the rest of it because I lost it on the. <laughs> that was a penis. Okay. Bucket is getting older. Julie comments that's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to the university. Yeah, Frank Frank gets like that too. You see, he, he's still a he still acts like a young beagle, but you know, it's starting to show. 1987. Julie's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She's devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days, some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family. They are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. 
1988. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else. Somewhere with 24-hour care. A home. It sits with you for a couple months. Gosh, this game really is throwing it on you, isn't it? Really early, it's just throwing it on you. I mean... I mean, I could decide to move her into a full-time fam family care facility. Or we can take care of her by ourselves. I mean, I don't know what to do in this situation. I mean, my mom decided to take care of my grandma. Just determined to take care of her. I'm gonna go with this one. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, that, this is tough. When you think about it, to have to deal with something like that. I mean, dementia's a scary thing. I mean, they can remember who you are, and then they'll forget who you are the next minute. You know, that it's tough. It's tough. <sighs> well, let's keep enjoying this beautiful, beautiful landscape here. Uh, gosh. I mean, seriously, this game looks gorgeous, though. Really? Oh, hi there. It's okay. No, come back. Come back, friend. No, come back. I want to be friends. I need a friend. It is impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her, like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her, and she can't do anything without you. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours, drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter, drinking then too. You start going out after you put her to bed. First time you do, you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. Gosh, this game really is throwing just like tough ones in front of you. Why can't I just stay? Why can't that be an option? Figure out something to do in the house. I don't have to leave. I'm gonna put a chair for the first day. You go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home and in bed by 1am a couple nights a week. You look forward to those nights. 1989, one night you are stopped at a DUI checkpoint. You blow up point one and are taken to jail for the night. You consider trying to hide in, hide it, but you tell your sister-in-law, Susan. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. Then they tell you Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. Gosh, this game is just brutal. Here we are. My new job at the Lookout Tower. Yeah, might as well give myself something to do. I don't know what happened. I think I saw some. Ooh. Oh yeah, thoroughfare Lookout. <sighs> the night sky. It's beautiful. Some clouds off in the distance. I really like this game. Is just gorgeous looking. I could hop over if I want to. I doubt there's anything in here, but why not? Let's take a pee. I'm a gamer at heart, you know, I gotta investigate every little crevice. Do, 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 do. Gotta take a pee. pee. Nothing? Okay. Nothing? Good. Alright, let's get up, uh, let's get up over here. And let's get up these stairs. Oh, this game is gorgeous. Oh, look, there's a little... 
Little shed over there. Little gener gener generator. 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 Oh, this place is gorgeous. Though. This game looks amazing. But yeah, I remember I was excited when uh, this was like announced at E3. And that. Oh! Let's check that out. Oh, that's what I was looking at. It's the look out of the other place. And when it was announced at E3, I was like really excited. Wow, there's like a bit of a drop in frames there. Let's open the door. And let's see. Oh, here's the flora of the locate of the air. Oh, okay. Oh, she would like that. Is she, I mean, I'm so, oh gosh. Singular mind, glory. A water jug. Oh god, yes. Actually, we like some water right now. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, National Forest Guidebook. Can't pick that up. Cookbook. That'll be nice for a uh, pine cone. Hey, pine cone. How you doing, buddy? It's a nice looking pine cone. I like this because what game is does this remind me? Oh, um, Until Dawn. That's what this that reminds me of. Like examining it. It's a stove. Desk lamp. Can't use it just yet. Ah, radio. Hey, another pine cone. Should I drop the pine cone? Drop the pine cone. There we go. Drop that pine cone. No, knock the other pine. No, pine cone, no. Stay. Hey, right, let's uh, just use the switch. Ah. Lights are on. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Oh, hi. Hi, Del Del Delilah. Delia. There we go. Oh, that's nice. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. Oh, I do have a voice. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. <laughs> you take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I what, sleep forever? <laughs> sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Hey, you killed three ex-husbands. You're rebelling against her mom. Nobody back home can stand you. Okay, um, you're probably just rebelling against a mom who wishes you had given her grandkids, by the sound of your voice, at least 15 years ago. <laughs> You come out here and it really grinds her gears and you love it. Can I sleep now? Ouch! Well, she also says I fuck immature men. But in my defense, who wouldn't want a 28 year old with ambition and energy and some fire in his belly in bed? Me. I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> Just a second. Now it's my turn. Okay. Good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. I say you got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. That's the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. Good night. <laughs> Welcome to the job. Meh. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Day one. Okay. Okay, I like this. I'm a writer. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. All right. Fine. I'll pick up the radio. Um, sorry, guess I slept in. Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Ooh. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, 6? 6? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. Okay. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on uh -huh. it. Do you see it? Yes, I do. Okay, yeah, I see yeah. it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne. Osborne. You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to... Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? West-facing window? Are those fucking fireworks? What? Oh. That would be helpful. 
I'm trying to use it. Oh. I need you to confirm. Do you see them? Yeah, I see him. What the hell? Yeah. Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days okay. away. Go down there and set them straight. Okay, bye, bye, bye. Do you think you can handle that? Do I write him a ticket? Easy there, Harry. <laughs> Harry. Well? Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Oh, that's nice, I guess. Secure. Shut up. <laughs> God, I love it. Alright. Get my backpack, I guess we're going. Goodness. Well, actually, this might be a good, good place to stop. Anyways. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Um, obviously, as we get further along, I'll probably have even more commentary for this game. But I'm excited about this game. Like, it looks really good. Um, quality is amazing. Um, runs really smooth. And, you know, it looks like there's a, like a very interesting backstory. That was something that wasn't really covered too intensely. Like, they kind of wanted to leave that open for people to learn about. And that's what I really like. And I kind of like, too, the aspect that they're kind of focusing on... Um, a psychological, a little bit of a psychological aspect to it. Um, dementia is actually a really, obviously it's a really terrible disorder that, um, I mean, you know, it's, it's terrible, really is. And it's a shame to see an early onset like that. And so it'll be interesting kind of see how this goes. Maybe the purpose of the game is kind of to see the inner demons, how to deal, how does someone deal with something like that, the that's out of your control and, you know, to kind of go from there. But it'll be interesting to see. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this. I really do. I'm going to keep it going with this series. But for now, I'm going to end this episode right here. But anyways, I hope you all enjoy and you all have a good day.